First, understand that the reason God gave you fear or nature, whatever you want to believe in, it's, it's fine. But the reason why you have fear is so that you can exist, so you can survive, that you can get through today. The whole trick is to not let it control you, to control it. But everyone has fear. So before you put a before you put that label on it that I'm coward, I'm less. No, you're normal. You're normal. It's just where are you gonna go with it? Where are you gonna where are you gonna let it take you? How are you gonna use it? How are you gonna become friends with it at some point in your life and understand it instead of thinking it's just an enemy? If you didn't have fear, you would get killed every day because why do you not walk across the street? Why do you turn your head? Hello? Why do you turn your head and make sure that there's not a car coming? Because you have a fear of dying. You have a fear of getting hit with a car. So, But that's not put up in neon letters like the yellow fear. Oh, you're scared of somebody. Oh, you're, you're, you're afraid that you'll fail. Oh, you're, you're afraid of your boss. Oh, <laughs> you're, you're afraid of, of that guy in the corner. Oh, you, and so that... that takes us to a different place. It's okay to be afraid of a car coming. It's all the same thing. It's all the same. It's there for a reason. To understand that it's to have you ready. It's to have you alert. To have you smart. To help you win. To help you live. You have to understand that. That's the first thing. And you have to understand what parts of fear damage and I'll explain that to you. And and our man with the letter did a great job of talking about that. You know, what comes with pressure, with fear, with pressure, with a moment, with stress, with a situation? Because that's what we're talking about, right? What, one of those things. One of those things. Whatever that is. Whatever represents difficulty for you at that moment in your life. And... What comes with that cloud of fear, that cloud of distress, that cloud of confusion, that cloud of depression, what comes with it is lies. Yeah, this is what does the damage. Because the first thing it tells you when you're afraid of something, something that our guy learned very well, is that it tells you whatever that situation is, that's in front of you, that you're fearful of, that you're afraid of, that's difficult, that it's going to last forever. See, pressure, what it does is it contorts time. It, it, it stretches time out. It makes it seem longer than what it is. It it makes you think that something that's going to last a moment is going to last for eternity. See, that's the problem. You have a situation and you got a guy in front of you in boxing or you have a situation where you have to deal with a boss or you have a situation where you have to deal with some other kind of confrontation. You think that I can't deal with it. I'm afraid of it because part of what comes with that mist of the unknown the imagination is that it's going to go on. It's, it's going to go on forever. That I have to, it's, it's, it's something I can't deal with. It. It's, it's undealable. It's, it's an immeasurable thing. It's a, a thing that's, that can't be, can't be dealt with. No, it's a second. It's a second in your life. It's a moment. It's a flash in time. The reality is that it doesn't last long. The reality is what lasts long is not dealing with it. It's one of the sayings that I use. And for me, this is going to take you to the place you need to be taken to what I'm about to say. We're all in a fight. Life's a fight. Different ways, different forms, but life's a fight. Whether it's yesterday, today, or tomorrow, there's a fight in front of you somewhere. And... It is harder to quit than it is to fight. And that's it, brother. 
Because when you quit and you think that's your great escape, you think that's the parachute. No, that's not. That's the terminal sentence. That's the chain that gets put around your body. That's the bracelets that gets locked on your wrist where you're confined to a prison. Yeah, a prison, a real prison. You know what the prison's name is? Regret. Because when you quit, you have to live forever with the understanding that you did that, with the regret, and that's eternal. That's forever. That doesn't go away until you finally face what you have to face. Because there is one key to that prison. It's a beautiful key. And it's part of what we're talking about today. And don't ever forget it. There is a key. The key is called redemption. There's always a chance for redemption. But you have to understand these principles we're talking about, where it all starts. It starts when that moment comes and the lies come with that moment, with that mist, inside that mist of confusion and stress and difficulty. That, that, that moment, that, just, that moment of whatever that moment is for you, that it's going to contour time, that it's going to lie to you, that it's going to be on forever. No, you deal with it and it's gone. You deal with it. A, a fighter in a fight. He learns that. He learns that that moment, it's five seconds, ten seconds. If it's a 12-round fight, it's 36 minutes. That's seconds. In life, what we're talking about, that seconds, it's a blink of an eye. Think about it. What is not seconds is putting yourself in that prison by giving up and having to deal with that and feel that. Forever. Until that moment of redemption, if you're up to it, comes for you. So remember that. That's the key for this question. It's a beautiful question. And it's a question that can help so many people. And it's a question that so many of you think about, but you're afraid to ask. But it's been asked. And it's been answered. To remember when that moment comes, when you think the way out is to give in. The way of getting away from that furnace, those flames, the devil, if you will. Yeah, hell, because it can be hell. To get away from those flames that you go that way. No. Understand, flames are always under you. They're not above you. They're under you. So when you quit, you go under to flames. Above you is a bright sky. Freedom. Victory. Even if you lose, it's victory because you faced it. It's beautiful. Go up. Don't go down. <laughs>